Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and we will continue our series of learning Python for complete beginners and today we will learn about Boolean expressions in Python. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will go to my repel.it. We have been creating our Python code here. So in the earlier sessions we have created all this code. So now uh, we have done operators in the earlier session. Now I will I can continue here and I can continue writing my code here. However, this file will become very large and it will be difficult to organize and I will have to keep on commenting and then adding new code. So what I will do is I will create a new tab here. You can see this plus button. I will click this new tab and then here I will here give a name to the tab or I can just go here and I can create a new file from here this is the new file and I will call it as boolean expression you can name it anything dot py and then I will you can drag it here if it does not come automatically you can always drag and drop it here so it has come here uh, let me go and check yes it has come here so here I will start creating my code and let us say now I am pressing control forward slash on my keyboard to add a comment and I will say this is learning boolean expressions in Python you can do hands on along with me and whenever you face any issues you can uh, put your question in the comment section of this video and I will keep all the notes all the code in the description of this video okay so what is a boolean expression if I have to say boolean expression now here any expression that results in a boolean value that is true or false okay so any expression that results in true or false that is a boolean value is called as a boolean expression for example if i say if i write a simple print statement and in the print statement i am saying uh, 10 greater than 20 so this is a expression that will result in either true or false now if i have to run this if i run this you will see it will always run main.py file so you can see all this is coming from our main.py file but I need to run this boolean expression.py so for that what I will do is I will go to my main.py file here and then I can comment out everything I can select everything from here I am pressing ctrl a to select everything and then ctrl forward slash to comment everything and then I will just say here import and the name of the file which is boolean exp it is only the name without the extension and even if it shows this uh, line underline it is okay it is it just means that we have not used any function or anything from this file within this main.py file which is fine you can save it Control s and now if i come back here and click on run button let us see you can see now it is running only this boolean expression.py file okay I can also just verify print I am inside boolean exp.py I will run and check and you can see here we are getting the result so basically what we wanted to check is the result of this expression is a boolean that is true or false therefore this is a boolean expression now in python we have several other expressions or operators that results in a boolean value that is true or false for example we have comparison operators okay we have learned about basic operators in the earlier session now we will learn about comparison operators and these also results in boolean value that is true or false okay now in comparison operators we have greater than less than greater than equal to then we have less than equals to then we also have equals equals to that is to check if the 
left hand side is equal to the right hand side and then we also have one more which is not equals okay so these are the operators let us try some of these for example if i say uh, let's say if i say x equals 10 and y equals 20 now if i say print x greater than y or if i say print y greater than or let me say x less than y or if i say print x equals equals y or i can also say less than equals or greater than equals i say x not equals y so these are few comparison operators i have used in these expressions i will save and run and check so you can see these are the this is the outcome of all these expressions which is a boolean value so we can use comparison operators all these comparison operators in python which will result in a boolean value okay now we also have some logical operators in python which also results in boolean value so if i say logical operators we have and or not so these are the three logical operators and what does this mean is so when we say and i will tell you how to use the, this in an expression in a moment but here whenever we use and it will result in true if both expressions are true that means there will be two expressions one before and and one after this operator and and if both of those are true or both of these results in true then the final result of the complete expression will be true for example if i say let us say x equals 10 y equals 20 and z equals 30 and now if i say print now i am directly using the print statement if you want you can calculate separately and then print the result if i say print x is less than y and i use the operator and and then i say z is greater than y so if both of these expressions that is x less than y and z greater than y will be true then only this entire expression will result in true because we are using the and operator i will run these in a moment before that let me also tell you about or so or will say whenever we use or it will result in true if any one expression is true that means any of these expression is true and if we use or operator here that will return in true and then we have not here it will be opposite or it will be exactly opposite of what we expect for example that means here this will return true if expression is false and will return false if expression is true okay so let us learn let us run these and check so let me just run this one and let us see so you can see this has resulted in true if i use or here and then i will run this this again has resu resulted in true because or means even if one of these will be true it will be true and then if i say print and if i say here uh, i am saying here print x is greater than y which is true we know x is 10 y is 20 x is greater than y is actually false so this is false but if i add not here before this expression this will make it true that means the result of this expression is false but i am saying not here so let us run and check i will run this and you can see it is returning true here okay so this is how we use not so these are some comparison and logical operators 
that uh, result in boolean expression or these are can also be called as boolean expressions that result in a boolean value true or false in the coming session we will learn about decision making statements and loops and that will be very interesting i hope this was very useful for you if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section and you will also find all the notes there i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning